Continuing to fill questions for Yosemite, I have a student asking from within our Telegram group, how different are the NBME and UWorld questions from the real deal in terms of difficulty and which one of them ranks first, second, third, etc.? Uh, I've already made many fucking clips talking about this, but I'll address it again, okay? So how similar are the NBME, Free 120, and UWorld questions to the real US Simile? Do I have any points about those and their relative difficulties? So I can give you a very solid answer here. So before we start, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like, really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L, man underscore medical, links down below. Find me on Telegram, links to the Telegram group and channel down below, and I'll start the clip. So students asking about the NBME, UWorld questions, as well as the free 120 uh, relative to the real US Simile and their, their relative difficulties. And what I can say, as I've said numerous fucking times, is that the NBME questions, free 120, as well as the clinical mastery series, the CMS forms for 2CK, the NBME subject specific forms, all that content is exactly the same as the real deal. The questions are the same. It's not my opinion. It's not speculation. It's not subjective. Objectively, the questions are the same. The NBMEs, the free 120, clinical master series, those questions are the real deal. Students will get repeats. Okay. I've made many clips talking about this. UWorld, on the other hand, is not the real deal. Okay. So by all means, when UWorld writes their questions, they're obviously looking at the NBME exams. There are going to be parallels. But just bear in mind that the UWorld questions are not actually the real deal. Okay. So in terms of relative difficulties, UWorld, I think, overall tends to be more gotcha style, more nitpicky. It's to my observation, they oftentimes intentionally try to make uh, diagnoses as obscure as possible. So, for, for example, sarcoidosis, rather than giving you African-American woman in her 30s uh, with bihydro lymphadenopathy, dry cough, uh, they might give you 50-year-old white dude. Uh, they, they don't mention a cough and they don't mention the bihydro lymphadenopathy, okay? There's a question like that actually floating around. I think it might be on one of the UW uh, essays, self-assessment exams. It's that type of nonsense, okay? There are many gotcha style questions in UWorld, so I have to tell students that quite often that the UWorld questions are more difficult, I would say, than the NBME ones, which tend to be much more straightforward, okay? Students are often surprised by that when they finally get to the NBME exams, because I've talked about, once again, made many clips on this stuff, that you're going to finish UWorld first before going into all the NBME content. But students are trained based on going through their 4,000 UWorld questions. By the time they get to the NBMEs, they're trained based on those NB, uh, based on those UWorld questions to think everything's very nitpicky and gotcha style. So on the NBMEs, however, they'll be surprised to find questions very straightforward, okay? Yes, there's going to be left field ones sometimes, but overall, questions are very straightforward. I'd say the UWorld ones are a lot more difficult. So your take-home point here is... The NBMEs, Free 120, and the Clinical Mastery Series forms, the NBME subject specific forms for TCK, are objectively the same questions as the real US Simile Step 1 and 2. Questions do repeat. UWorld questions are not the same. And overall, I'd say the UWorld questions are more nitpicky and gotcha style. I would say they are more difficult than the NBME, Free 120, and CMS content. You know the deal, make to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.